Mike Tyson, il leggendario peso massimo, ha spesso ricevuto critiche per aver evitato incontri con i pugili più formidabili della sua categoria di peso. Tuttavia, concentriamoci su quattro avversari i cui nomi sono ora riveriti. All'inizio del 1988, all'età di 21 anni, Mike Tyson era già diventato il campione indiscusso del mondo nella divisione dei supermassimi. Aveva vinto contro Trevor Berbick, James Smith, Pinklon Thomas e Tony Tucker. Tuttavia, per dimostrare il suo vero valore, aveva bisogno di un avversario rinomato. A tale scopo, il leggendario promoter Don King reclutò Larry Holmes, che era stato in pensione dopo due sconfitte contro Michael Spinks. Larry accettò la sfida e il loro incontro si svolse il 22 gennaio 1988. Mike Tyson dimostrò il suo dominio sul ring, mandando a terra Holmes tre volte e vincendo al quarto round. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds if it goes that far. Larry just missed him with a right hand. He's going to run out of gas. Now Holmes is going to maybe going to open up some offense here. Mike attacks. Larry has brilliant defense. Mike really hasn't been able to catch him flush yet. Joe Cortez, the third man in the ring, the referee. But a 38-year-old Larry Holmes cannot continue that round at the round. Oh, a big right hand, and down on the champion. He was now running the button. The count is up to six. I don't know if he's going to be able to survive this round. He's definitely hurt, his legs are gone, and in comes Mike. It was a big right hand. Larry's down again. Down he goes. I don't know if he'll be able to continue. It's up to four and five. His eyes are clear. It's up to seven and eight. He's going to be able to continue. Tyson knows he has him in trouble. That was able to do it against Ronaldo Spikes. He goes with a big right hand from inside. There's the left. There's the right. Now he's ready to go again. He should be hanging on. Now with the right hand, the left hand. He's going to hang on. And he'll stop the fight. Down he goes. Now he's hurt. It's all over. He is knocked out. He didn't even bother the call. It was a vicious, vicious right hand. It came like a bolt. We looked for it and Larry got hurt. Il 27 giugno 1988, Mike Tyson affrontò Michael Spinks, ex campione nelle divisioni dei pesi massimi leggeri e massimi. Questo incontro si concluse ancora più rapidamente, con Tyson che ottenne la vittoria in soli 91 secondi, mettendo KO Spinks nel secondo round. Il 9 novembre 1996, Mike Tyson affrontò Ivan der Holyfield, ex campione indiscusso nelle divisioni dei pesi massimi. Nonostante fosse considerato un outsider, Holyfield riuscì a resistere a Tyson e ottenne addirittura la vittoria. Questo incontro divenne uno dei momenti più impressionanti nella storia della box. Holyfield. Fight 
Holyfield the chance for the crowd again. Little Holyfield. Holyfield continues to dig it. A left hook to the head. He's got Tyson in trouble. Tyson's ready to go. Il 28 giugno 1997, Tyson e Holyfield ebbero una rivincita che terminò nuovamente a favore di Holyfield a causa della squalifica di Tyson per aver morso Holyfield durante l'incontro. Listen, as they continue to dance around, holding on to one another. At one punch at a time. Bill Swain gives him an air pull. Back comes Tyson on the belt. Tyson with a short left hook to the head of Holyfield. A right hand by Michael What happened here? He got bit, I think. Evander Holyfield, look out, he's pushed right here, above us by Tyson. Well, first he had a parachute drop on him, now he had a heavyweight bite him. Bite. What did we get that on tape? Biting Holyfield, oh my goodness. I can't believe what I'm seeing. The disgusting tactics here he by Mike it. Tyson. Now they could disqualify him. Can you believe it? You got a big, tough judge here. A very angry Evander Holyfield now. You know, it's funny, Mike, Mike was having his best round. He him again. He, he did him again. again. Mike Tyson. I'll tell you what, this is unbelievable. It's, it's over. It's over. Bill's Lane signaling that it's over. Infine, l'8 giugno 2002, si svolse un incontro tra Mike Tyson e Lennox Lewis, uno dei migliori pugili della sua categoria. In questa partita, Lewis emerse vittorioso mettendo efficacemente fine alla carriera di alto livello di Mike Tyson. Oui, la faille pour Tyson. Pour l'instant, la maîtrise, elle est du côté Lewis. Oui, et assurer où oh, c'est droit. Ah, j'allais dire que c'est beaucoup plus simple ailleurs ou en nous ou en uppercut. En crochet, c'est très difficile de faire ça là normalement, ça pêche pas avec cette confiance. Oui. Wow. Parce que là la main droite la main gauche, pardon, de Lennox. Faiblir, faiblir. Mais, mais, on sait qu'un animal blessé, comme Tyson, peut être encore plus dangereux. La mobilité pour l'instant de Lennox et Whisky est touché aussi au niveau de la main. Avec les plus grands fluides, ça ne le gênait pas trop parce qu'il a les figures. Et le regard là, les jambes de Lennox Lewis. Ça fait mal, ça fait mal à Mike. Quand vous dites ça, Jean-Claude, écoutez bien. Oui. Depuis 1995, il n'a fait qu'un round, c'est c'est très très peu. C'est sur place, c'est pas rester sur place, t'as une oh, cible, cible oh. trop facile. Oh là il est touché, fatigué, éprouvé dans cette septième oui. supériorité. Évitez les, 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 les directs de oui. distance, mais pour l'instant il n'y parvient pas, c'est une démonstration de Lennox Lewis. Et on se demande aussi. You're fighting for the heavyweight championship of the world again. You understand? Now, man, du début du combat. Non. Ouais, c'est trop, c'est trop. Il a envie, il a envie de. Tyson peut. Lewis peut. Il va le faire, il pose. Ah, il faut. Là, il faut du courage. Est-ce que du courage. Euh... Jean-Claude, oh, oh, il est KO, il est KO. La droite, c'est terminé. Lennox, Lewis est toujours bio. Lennox est surtout. Toujours le plus grand et quelle droite Tyson dans lequel euh, 